Welcome to The Resilient Rainer, the premier podcast focused on mental performance for equestrians and improved horse show performance. Whether you're a rookie rainer or a seasoned competitor, this show is for riders who want to take their skills to the next level and achieve their full potential in the show ring. I'm Nicole Burnett, and I'm a master mindset coach who's obsessed with helping you achieve all those horse dreams you always thought were impossible. Join me each week to develop a show-ready mindset and gain the competitive edge you need to compete with confidence. Welcome, welcome back to the Resilient Rainer podcast with Nicole Burnett. That's me. I am so glad that you are here today. Make sure you thank yourself for taking a moment out of your day to work on your mind game to get your mind right. And I also want to start with a moment of gratitude to all of you for choosing to share a part of your life with me. So today I wanted to talk about my secret superpower for Chopin success. So this is something that you can do out of the saddle that I do for better rides. Okay, let me start with a little story. Have you ever had a brain freeze? Imagine it's summertime and you go to the gas station and you get a big old slushy and it's 100 degrees out and you are so hot and you try and drink it in a giant gulp and then your head starts to hurt. (laughs) and it just shuts down and you can't think about anything. So take that feeling and then think, have you ever had a brain freeze from overthinking in the show pen? You probably have. It could start with a negative thought about how, oh my gosh, you're probably going to mess up the lead change. And Then you could sprinkle in some doubt about whether your horse is actually going to stop after the rundown. Oh my gosh. And maybe just throw in a slice of good old guilt about how you haven't practiced enough or you're just not going to be a good rider ever. And then boom, your brain is just frozen. Okay. You're stuck. So Let me introduce you to my secret weapon, and it's probably not what you think it is. Any guesses? Think, come up with your ideas. Okay, here it is. It's meditation. Now, your first reaction may be thinking, what? What is meditation? Or maybe you're thinking, why are you doing that? Or should I be doing that? Or maybe you're thinking something like, no, weirdo, I don't do that. (laughs) So I practice meditation for a few reasons. A big one is it allows me to focus on demand. When I walk in the Chopin, I know how to be in the moment and set everything else aside except for riding my horse right then and there. So this is absolutely something I promote to all of my clients because it is so powerful. Another great benefit that I get from practicing meditation is I learn how to detach from my thoughts. I am able to have the powerful transformation that my thoughts are not me. Let that sink in, okay? This is transformational. Just because you have a thought doesn't make it true. And just because you have a thought doesn't make it a part of your identity. That is so powerful. My thoughts are not me is so freeing because it teaches you it's okay to be angry, upset, or fearful. You can experience 
fear and doubt and it doesn't make you a bad person. It's part of the human experience. Wow. I mean, if you can really embrace that, there's no way your life doesn't change. (laughs) Fear and doubt are defense mechanisms. Our brain deploys trying to protect us. It's our brain trying to help us so that we can survive. When we understand our brains are just trying to protect us, we can redefine our relationship with our thoughts from a place of grace and love, and it can be transformative in allowing ourselves to be better riders and allowing ourselves to perform better in the show pen by separating ourselves from the unhelpful and false stories and narratives running through our minds about our performance and what it means. Take a minute and think here, what could that unlock for you in your writing? If you knew that just because you are worried about your horse spooking in the corner doesn't make it true, it's not predestined. It doesn't mean you have a terrible horse or that you're an awful rider. And all of this is a big reason why meditation for horseback riders is so key. We have to learn to detach from our thoughts. We have to learn to detach from the thought, the fear that our horse is going to spook or our horse is going to charge through the rundown to detach from the thought that even if and when we make mistakes, it doesn't mean that we should sell our horse and stop riding. We have to learn to detach from the thought that, well, We blew the lead change last time, so gosh darn it, why are we even here wasting our money this time? (laughs) We have to learn to detach from our thoughts and approach our riding and showing from a grateful perspective infused with love and understanding for horses and ourselves. And you bet we can absolutely pair having empathy for our horse, and for our own humanity with kicking ass at shows. (laughs) I am myself very competitive, and I guarantee that a competitive nature really can be paired with knowledge that we are not our thoughts. And that is such a life-changing perspective that really allows us to go so much farther on our journey at horse shows and in life. I encourage all of you to take a minute and just breathe. So let's let's practice this just for a moment. Just let's do three breaths in and out. Literally just pay attention to the sound of your own breath. And just be in the present moment. I hope that all of you develop a superpower of your own. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today. Shoot me a message on social media, drop a comment, drop an emoji. Let me know if this was helpful and if you try this at all. If you thought this was helpful, share it with a friend to help them out. If it was terrible, send it to an enemy to darken their day. (laughs) And tune in next week for more on how to increase your mental toughness and resilience 
so that you can be a better rider and perform better in the show ring. Thank you for listening to today's episode. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some of your time today with me. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with a friend. And if you want more support to ensure you ride your best at home and at shows, go to NicoleBurnettCoaching.com to get your free copy of Become Unbeatable in the Show Pen, Five Mental Skills Every Rainer Needs to Master. It's a free guide I'm sharing with you on how to develop mental toughness and resilience in the face of adversity to maximize your showing success. Until next time.